Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to start a new playlist on your demand that is creating micro frontends with web components using Angular elements. I'll suggest to work with Model Federation if you have Project Angular version 12 onwards. But for those whose project version is below 12, they can go with web components as well. Let me first check the Angular CLI version installed in my system. To check that, I'll run the command ng version. As we can see that the Angular CLI version is 15.2.4 in my system and the Node version is 16.16.0. Earlier, I had the latest version of Node till today that is 18.17.0 but I have degraded the node version because we need to work on angular version 10 and angular version 10 is compatible with node version 16 so I have degraded the node version to 16. If you are not aware how to upgrade and degrade the node version then you can watch my video on how to upgrade and downgrade node version in the system. I have provided the link of the video in the description as well as in the i card. Now if I'll create the project directly with the command ng new and the project name it will create the project based on the angular CLI version. 15.2.4 but that is something we do not want so to create the project in angular version 10 we'll first install angular cli package with version 10 locally to install the angular cli locally we'll run the command yarn add at the rate angular forward slash cli and the version that is 10.0.5 in our case now why i am using yarn because my global version of angular cli is 15 and local is 10 and yarn has a good algorithm to solve the dependencies compared to NPM. So I'll also suggest you to use yarn if possible. Now I'll press enter. Installation has been done. We have successfully installed Angular CLI version locally with version 10.0.5. We can check that in package.json. We can see that Angular CLI dependency has been installed with version 10.0.5. Now we'll create the project. To create the project, we will use npx and not npm. If you do not know the difference between npm and npx, then do let me know in the comment section so that I'll create a video on that. Also, if you are not aware the difference between web component and module federation then also let me know in the comment section i'll surely create a video on that as well here i'm going to use npx so we'll first install the npx globally to install the npx we'll run the command npm i stands for install npx hyphen g where hyphen g flag stands for global which will install this npx package globally in my system as i have already installed npx i'll not install it again rather i'll directly create the project to create the project i'll run the command npx hyphen p and then we need to to mention the angular cli version to create the project so let's mention it with at the rate angular forward slash cli at the rate 10.0.5 and then we'll write the default command to create the angular project that is ng new and the project name which is take list in our case now we'll press enter it is asking would you like to add angular routing we'll say yes and we'll proceed with scss style format project take list has been installed successfully so we can open the package.json of it and check Angular version. We can see that the project has been installed with the version 10.0.6 as expected. Now we'll start the server and see if everything works fine over the browser or not. To start the server, we'll run the command ng. S stands for server hyphen o, where hyphen o flag tells Angular CLI to open the project directly over the browser after successful server start. So let's press enter. Okay, first we need to go inside the project that is take list in our case and we'll run the command ngs hyphen o. We can see the warning that my global Angular CLI version is 15 and the local version is 10.0.8 which is as expected and we can ignore this word as we can see that our tech list app is running successfully over 4200 port now we will add angular element package and web components feature to this tech list project if my video helps you or gives you the knowledge then please like the video and share with your friends and colleagues so that they will also be benefited so let's meet in the next video till that be happy take care signing off